and welcome everybody. Today we're going to be building the classic Animal Crossing train station. If you don't know what this train station is, basically in the original game, you started on a train and that's where you made your character. So I kind of wanted to pay homage to that by making a train station in New Horizons that's almost the exact same, kind of a replica, but also a different take on it, a uh, more modernized version of it. And to do this, we're going to start by making this cliff on the second level. And uh, we're just going to make it kind of the same dimensions. It's kind of hard to, you know, make it the exact same, but we're going to do our best. And we're also going to be improvising with New Horizons items to make the classic Animal Crossing items, since not all of the classic Animal Crossing items are in this game. So we're going to be making a train. We're going to be trying to um, make an arch as well, as well as like the clock tower. So yeah, it's going to be fun. Hmm. Might be a little too far out, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So it looks like on the original game that there's just like two blocks would be here. I'm just trying to recreate it as uh, as best as I can. So maybe there's just like two blocks here. And I have a pretty good idea on how to do like the archway and everything. So I'll get to that in a second. But yeah, I feel like we should put a brick staircase there. So I'm going to go to Nook really quick and get a brick staircase out. All right, let's pay the nice man. I wish they would include like gyroids in the future. I'm really hoping they do because I love collecting gyroids and like new leaf and everything. And most people don't know the joy of collecting the gyroids. You know, I would fill like my museum with uh, gyroids and stuff. All right, we're good, we're good. Future update soon? Question mark, Nintendo? Anyway, while that's being built, we can get our brick pattern out so i'm gonna leave a creator code for this on screen this is for the brick and the train patterns the the train track patterns i think they look really nice and really like faithful to the original pattern so that's why i'm using it um and i feel like it's gonna make like a really cool result in the end because we kind of have to be creative in the items we use for this build uh mainly because not a lot is available in terms of like similarities between GameCube and this version. So like, for example, the fencing, we can get something similar to the fencing, but we're not going to get exact. So I was thinking for the platform, we can use iron fencing. So I'll do that in a sec. And that is looking pretty snazzy so far. I like it a lot, actually. Yeah, so now we're going to build the train tracks. This is also by the same custom pattern design. Uh, there's two versions if you want to combine these, but I'm just going to use one to save on custom design slots because, as we all know, that's pretty rare. You know, you got to you gotta savor the spots. Nintendo, please give us more. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, it looks exactly like the original Animal Crossing train tracks. And I'm really happy with this pattern. So thank you to the pattern creator. Like, I wouldn't be able to do this build without you. So I really appreciate you. Also, just really quick, I want to note that we're going to do this all the way down to the right and left of the map. So all the way. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Um, it's, it's, it's going to be it's going to be a little hard. It's going to be a little 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 difficult, not difficult, but time consuming. You know, I feel like those people, you know, in old times, uh, people actually used to lay out train tracks like this. You know, they would do it brick by brick. Well, not bricks. I, what do you build train tracks with? Iron, I guess. I don't know. They would like nail down the uh, the actual tracks. Am I done yet? Am I done yet? Am I done yet? I'm done. All right. Looks. Yeah. This this actually looks pretty accurate. Uh, surprisingly, I didn't I didn't think it would. Now I think there's fencing across the train tracks in the original game like all across as like a barrier so that's what we're going to do in this game it's just going to be a straight line of country fencing i think is the closest it's not exactly the same color or anything but uh, i think in the original the fences uh the posts were kind of circular so that's what i'm going for here with the country fencing and i'll be back when i put country fencing everywhere too <laughs> okay also, I have these villager houses on the tracks. I thought it would look kind of cool. Um, I'm missing one country fence. 
missing one country fence. So I guess we're gonna leave that for now. But yeah, I think this looks kind of nice. I kind of like it. Um, it resembles the Animal Crossing game, the original game enough where I would say it's, uh, it's good. So now the final part of our template, we are going to build the backing cliff. So we're going to leave one space open for like a uh, utility po poles. I want to put here eventually. I think, I think would look good. Um, I didn't choose to do two layers up. I could do, you know, two layers up to even block more of this guy. But I think we'll put some like bushes on top and maybe that will look good enough to pass because I kind of wanted this really close to the secret beach. So we'll see. Okay, so I want kind of a unique design up here. I want the cliffs to look a little bit taller. So what I'm going to do is start putting bushes every so often. So I think every other one, I'm going to put a bush. So we'll do a white and then let's do just alternating bushes, I guess. We'll do a pink. And then we'll do a white again. Let's do a white. We'll do pink again. Oops. Okay, that looks kind of okay. I, I like it, I like it. Um, I feel like we should get some flowers in between them. So I'm gonna choose red flowers because I just happen to have an abundance of red flowers. So one second. You know, in retrospect, I should have planted the flowers with the bushes. Because now I have to do this. And, you know, this this is not efficient. But, uh, it's, it's fine. I guess. Okay. I mean, I kind of I kind of like it. it. It could always be changed in the future. You definitely don't have to do this, like, back cliff thing if you don't want to. I just think it adds to the whole classic Animal Crossing Porter feeling. Um, now let's make the railing. So for the railing, I'm choosing the iron fencing. And I think it looks, um, it's kind of like an updated version of the original Animal Crossing fencing that went here. It's the closest thing that I could think of at least. So let's just line the border of this whole thing with some iron fencing. And then we'll start decorating. So there are quite a few decorations we can do. And also you may be wondering, Wilbo, how are you going to build the train? There is no train that th is this size. Well, don't you worry, all right? Don't you worry, we'll be fine. We'll be all fine. Okay, I think this is a good, like, mini area. Um, we could make this a little bit bigger if we wanted to, but I mean, for now, it's fine. All right, I'm gonna go get some decorations and I'll show all the decorations on screen that I'm going to be using for this, along with the customized patterns that I'm going to be using. Okay, I pretty much have a full inventory of decorations. So uh, I want to start down here, actually. Um, I want to work with the uh, the path a little bit. So this is a st cobblestone version of the path. It is from the original Animal Crossing game. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't really link up correctly because there isn't a left and right version for the normal cobblestone. But I mean, for now, that's, that's totally fine. Uh, what we're going to be ending up doing, though is we want a little co uh, cobblestone crevice for this is where the uh, the bulletin board or the map would be shown at first when you first get off the train and to emulate this there's actually some really creative ways you can do this you can either do it with uh, custom signs which i have done before i actually have some custom animal crossing patterns if you want to download them um they are qr codes they're not in the actual game Sorry about that. I just converted the actual textures. Uh, actually, let's bring this out one more. I feel like it could be brought out one more. But yeah, we're just going to make like a little curved area here. And this is where we're going to put the uh, the bulletin board. But for this, I have a different plan than the, uh, the actual signs. It's just going to be a blank bulletin board because we're going to be using the campsite sign. But we're going to be using it backwards. And I'll show you what that means in a second. So we're going to place down a campsite sign. And we're going to turn it around. So that's... When you turn this campsite sign around and push it here... One second. There we go. So we turn the campsite sign around and we're just going to push it into the wall. And line it up, center it a little bit. 
And yeah, that, that's looking kind of accurate. I, I like it a little bit. Maybe we'll shorten this cobblestone path a little bit that goes into it. Um, but for now, this is fine. This is totally fine. I dig it. It's good. All right, the brick staircase is built. And I think this looks very nice. I don't think we need the simple panels. I think that'll just make it look a little weird. Um, but as you notice in the picture, there's this archway. And I feel like we can do the archway too. So I've customized two stalls. Um, to have this like door pattern that I used also in Leaf Shop. And I'll put the creator code in the description for that and on screen right now if you want to download this pattern for yourself. But if you're ever looking to make like a building outdoors, I feel like the stall is really good for that. It's just a little annoying placing it. Uh, let me place this and I'll be right back. All right, there we go. So yeah, it's, it's not perfect, you know, but it's the best thing we have compared to, like, uh, this is the only thing I could think of. If you could think of another way to put an arch, uh, let me know in the description. And also, there's a park clock that we can put down that's kind of similar to the giant clock that's on the top of the arch, like the clock tower. And I think it looks okay. I'll show you it in a sec. Here we go. We got the park clock here. Looking pretty fancy. I like it a lot. Um, so yeah, this is my idea for an arch. It's kind of hard to come up with the design, but I think we did an okay job. And actually, this is an interesting story, right? So I downloaded a Porter custom design. It's, it looks like, uh, where is it? It looks like this. Let me display it for you guys. And I was like, this is okay. You could kind of tell it's Porter. And then Guac from my server was like, hey, I can make you it. And I'm like, well, I'm releasing the video tomorrow. And then he was like, no, 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 don't worry. And then he finished it in like 15 minutes, maybe. Look what he made. Look, look what he made in 15 minutes. That's insane. This is so accurate. It's beautiful. I love him. I want to marry him. Wilbo X Porter. Yeah, so we're going with this one, so. I guess we'll make him stand here for now. I don't know, he kind of st stood next to the train for a while. Now you're wondering, where's the train, Wilbo? Where's the train? Don't worry, we're coming to the train right now. Here we go. So to build the train, I kind of took some inspiration from designs that are online. Um, people usually use the brick oven as the front of the train because it has that smoke that comes out and it looks really nice and realistic. I kind of want the track to be a little bit visible, so I'm going to kind of offset it a little bit. Um, but to make the actual body of the train, we're going to be using stalls to be customized with a custom black pattern. This is just a custom design that I just filled in with uh, black coloring and I just customized the stalls with it. There's some customs. Um, if you don't want to waste a design space with a black normal design, uh, you could definitely use like Sable's patterns. She has some cool black patterns and uh, or you could just texture the train with whatever color you want, you know? So I kind of want the tracks to be visible. So I'm putting the custom stalls all the way back here so that you could see the tracks a little bit when you're coming up. And that looks pretty nice. I like it. Um, so to make the rest of the train, I have some sauna heaters that Romy suggested I use. So I'm going to try these out. Uh, there's like a little coal cart attached to the original Animal Crossing train. So I'm curious to see if these are going to work. You kind of have to be creative when creating a train, you know? You, you have to work with the limited resources that you are given here. I mean, that could work if we were to cover this a little bit. And then the problem is, I don't know what to cover it with. Hmm. Also, I got this antique bed. And if we angle this just right, it could look like a, uh, a train bed. So that's what I thought when designing this train. Oops. Go for a nap in the day. And then to top it all off, I wanted to put some box sofas, some black box sofas as like, cause there's this little railing at the end and I didn't really know what to do with it. So 
And yeah, that kind of looks like a train so far. I, I mean, the bed is a little weird, right? But it kind of works. Um, I'm gonna probably incorporate the sauna heaters in a sec, but let's continue building the train. So for windows, I kind of just want to use jellyfish. It might look a little weird, um, but they have lights in the back and they light up at night. And I feel like they kind of look like windows. Um, if you have any more suggestions for windows, you can leave them in the comments. Or if you have suggestions on how I could build this train differently, this is just how I thought to build it. So yeah, that looks kind of nice. And I don't know. They kind of look like windows, but not really at the same time. Uh, for passengers, I was thinking of since in the original game, there's this cat that's white called Blanca. And I figured I would want to include her in this. So I got a white, uh, I mean, a white cat cap. There we go. Move this back. And you kind of have to angle yourself when placing the passengers. So I'm going to place this down too. I'll place this down too. Whoops. That's not good. And then finally, I have a Viking helmet because... You know, in the original Animal Crossing game, you had horns on your head. So I felt like this could be like an homage to that character. And that's kind of my train. That's pretty much it. Um, I think this is in the right spot. Okay, to finish off the train look, I kind of want to include some tires because I feel like that would look nice. Um... Some people use the garden carts, I think they're called. But I don't really want to use those. I kind of just want to use tires here. And yeah, those are the train wheels. Choo-choo. Okay. Um, so yeah, we can pretend to be the conductor now. Actually, I think I downloaded Rover's uh, jackets. So let's... Or Porter's jacket. Whoops. Uh, I feel like adding a public bench to this place is really nice. It wasn't in the original Animal Crossing game, but we should modernize this a little bit, I think. Or it just... It's its heavily inspired by the original Animal Crossing, but it's not exact, you know? So, I feel like that is a great addition. And we should also include Rover's briefcase. Partly because Rover's not in the game, and he was always in the all the Animal Crossing games when you start. And then this was the starting zone for... The original Animal Crossing, so I feel like it fits very well. And plus, just the travel briefcase looks really good here because it is the train station. Yeah, I feel like that looks nice. He's kind of greeting you as you come into the train station. Very nice. Um, if I had more utility poles, I would say that this would be a pretty good idea to place utility poles every so often. Uh, just like this, probably. Yeah. I kind of like that. That adds a lot to the place. Y you know, just little things like that. Little details if you add add so much to the whole build, the overall build. Um, do I have anything else to decorate this with? I have a garbage can too. I figured a garbage can would look nice up here uh, next to the public benches because that's kind of how real train stations work. They have garbage cans every so often. And yeah, I think with that, we are done. Um, is there anything else I'm missing? Oh, okay. The OK motor sign. I kind of wanted to put an OK motor sign here because I want this to illuminate at light a little more and this automatically turns on at night. And I feel like it just signifies a train station is here. So it's a good sign for a train station. But now let's look at the finished build of the Animal Crossing train station. So I'm really excited for this. I'm wearing Porter's jacket just because of the occasion. Um, I'll slow walk up. We have this beautifully terraformed path. I don't know if it's beautifully. It, it doesn't really connect that well. But if you know any more, uh, different cobblestone path that I could use that's similar to the original Animal Crossing, let me know. Also, I forgot you could put these custom Animal Crossing patches down and they look like the original dirt patches you would see in the uh, Animal Crossing games. So I'm going to put some down really quick to finish off my build. And if we just walk up, we see this brick pattern that goes into this train station. So this is pretty accurate to the original train station, as accurate as I can get it. 
Um, I tried to design the terrain as accurate as I could uh, from my mind, but I'm not sure if it looks that great. I want to see your train designs, actually. So if you join my Discord and post your picture of your train design, I would love to see, like, the difference of, you know, people's creative minds working together to build one thing. So please join my Discord and post a bunch of your train designs and I'll pick the best one and feature it in the next building episode or I'll just feature all of them in the next building episode. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I'm just curious to see what other people could come up with. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day. Mm.